Welcome back in 743 Money Tuesday now. If you are in your early to mid 60s and considering taking Social Security, financial experts say if you can, you may want to wait. A little delay could pay off big in just a few years. Stuart Welch from the Welch Group joins us this morning to talk about the smart retirement strategy. Good morning, Stuart. Good morning, Janet. Good to see you. I, and I said in the beginning, if you can, because everybody's situation is not going to allow them to do that. So with that in mind, if you can, what do you suggest? Yeah, so uh, Janet, I call this the good saver retirement strategy because it's really dependent upon people who've actually done a really good job of saving money and it's in two parts and uh, this actually came up with an actual case a longtime friend called me he retired last year at the end of last year at age 65 and he's decided that he's going to use his personal savings to live on until and postpone taking Social Security until age 70, which is the latest time you can do that. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good strategy for him for a couple of reasons. Number one, by waiting that extra five years, he's going to increase that benefit by about uh, 40%. And, uh, and he's in really good health, and his younger wife is in really good health. So the opportunity for one or both of them to live into their 90s is really good. So that's a really smart strategy to postpone uh, the Social Security. The part two was, he said, Stuart, this year I don't have any income, so I'm going to be in a really low tax bracket. Does it make any sense for me to begin to take money out of my IRA early and pay the tax on it when I really didn't have to? I could have postponed doing that until age 72. And the answer is yes, that's part two of the strategy. So he wants, he should take as much out of his IRA as he can in a low tax bracket. That's going to require him to do some calculation. But Janet, here's the twist. The twist is instead of just taking that money and putting it, putting it with his personal savings, personal investments, he should consider doing a conversion to a Roth, to a Roth IRA. By doing so, that money now continues to grow tax deferred. And when he takes money out later, if he needs it from that particular bucket, that money will come out tax free. But maybe even more importantly, that money's likely to be inherited by his children. And when they take the money out, it will also be tax free, as opposed to if he leaves it in a regular IRA and they start taking that money out, they're gonna have to pay taxes on it and under the new law, they have to take that money out within 10 years, which means they're probably taking it out when they're in their highest earning years, their highest tax bracket. Two-part granted, strategy. Yeah, granted, his situation is unique. Most people aren't going to have five years of savings to be able to do that. So if you don't have that much, what do you suggest? I mean, how much would you suggest trying to put off retirement if you're healthy and can live off of what you have? Well, I think that you take that strategy and you modify it to fit your situation. So if you can postpone Social Security for every every year you postpone taking it, your benefit's going to go up. Uh, it does make sense a lot of times to use personal savings and actually use them down. And uh, people don't like, you know, I'm running out of principal. Use that down, but let this other money continue to uh, continue to grow. It also... Uh, makes sense to take money out of the IRA and convert it to a Roth if you can afford to do that. You might not be able to do it to the extreme, mm -hmm. but to whatever part you can, you should do. And I think this is a little bit complicated, so I would very much encourage people no doubt. to work with their financial advisor or their CPA. All right, Stuart Welch. Thank you, Mayor. Good to see you. Thank you.